everyone! So as promised, I said I was going to do some more tutorials with this deluxe paper that is adhesive back that came out with the Cricut Joy. And I originally bought a set of this paper and then it sat around for a while because I thought, I'm not sure really what to do with this type of product. But then uh, some ideas started kind of rolling in. My husband was kind of helpful in giving me some um, inspiration as well. And one of the things I thought would be really fun is creating these little clips with little paper strips on them. It's a really fun way. You can use these for just about anything. One thing that I really use these for is little tiny bag clips for my pantry. So things like little bags of chocolate chips where you just roll up the rest and still stick a little clip on, it works wonderful for. So smaller type items, you could actually place a magnet on the back and stick this on your fridge and then have it be just a little clip for your fridge and you can stick little to-do lists in there or you could make um, this be a little photo frame for your fridge and stick little photos in it. So this can just do about anything you'd want it to. So be sure to personalize it to how you would use these little clips, but I'll link these below where I got them. They're a little bit thicker of a clothespin and they're really, really nice. So I'm going to be using the Nature Walk patterns for the Cricut Joy Deluxe Paper, and I just got this in. I have another tutorial coming with how we're going to use this adhesive back paper, so if you're in a pickle and you went ahead and bought a bunch of this like I did, and then you're not sure what to do with it, just stand by, make sure you're subscribed because we're gonna be doing a lot more stuff with this as well. Okay, so we're gonna make little strips to go over just to decorate these. I think it'll be really cute. The next thing we're going to do though is I think I'm gonna take it a step further. You can just stop right here. You can just decorate them and make it all cute and fancy and be done. But I'm going to take it a step further and personalize them as well and maybe add a little vi vinyl little decal um, to a couple of them just to show you another idea for how you could decorate them even further. So first things first, what we're going to do is we are going to measure our little clip. And it looks like we are at about three quarters of an inch by two and three quarters of an inch. So let's go ahead and go into design space. We're going to get everything designed. I'll show you how you can design it so that it will cut out at exact that size on the paper. And then we'll also have some fun and make some fun little designs to put on a couple of them. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so now that we're in design space, we're gonna come over to the shapes really quick. And we are just going to make the little rectangular templates that are going to be the little pa patterned paper cutouts. So again, we're gonna unlock this right here. We're gonna come up and the width was 0.75 and the height was 2.75. So we'll get those all ready to go. And what we'll do is we'll just make those bigger. So we are going to, let's just make these a nice purple color since that's kind of the theme of this pattern paper. That'll be really cute. So let me just double check my measurements real quick and then we will continue. Okay, I double checked and everything is as it should be. So now what I'm going to do is let's get creative and let's make a, like a little heart for one and maybe make one that has a little saying on it. I think that would be really cute as well. So let's do, let's go over to our text box first and let's find a fun text that we can use. Okay, I think I'm gonna use Dawn one. I really like this text. It's nice and bold too if you are doing something on a smaller scale. So these are really small, so I think this text will look really nice. So for this, why don't we say something like, I love you. I think that would be really cute. So we could pretend maybe that this one is going to be on um, a little fridge magnet or something like that. So what we can do is we can size this down. This is a double layer font, but we'll delete that second layer because we'll only do a single layer for this. And I'm going to click shift on my Mac so I can get this to rotate and do it perfectly. And we'll just size this down right about there. I think that'll be really cute. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'll make this white. We'll just cut that out of the white vinyl. That's really, really cute. And we'll just pull this off to the side. How about for the second one, we do a heart or two. So we're gonna come over, let's actually just grab some images. I think I'll think that will be fun. So we can do one like this and then maybe grab one that's more of an outline. Let's see, maybe this one. I kind of gravitate towards these hearts every time I come into design space. I really like them. And let's go ahead and make these white as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to size these down. And I'll size this down too. And let's see here. Maybe we'll just make something kind of 
kind of like this. I think that will be really cute. Okay, so we'll just do two like that. And what I can do actually is I can grab both of these and I can attach them together so it cuts just like that. I like that little look, so I think that's really cute. Okay, and then this is all set to go. So we are all set on this one. So we'll just drag this to the side, drag this little one to the side, and these will be our vinyl cutouts. This is gonna again be on the paper. So now we're gonna be making five of these. So what we wanna do is we actually want to duplicate this so that we have. Have 10 because while we're making five clips they are front and back so we're gonna want a total of 10 strips so we'll just go over to the duplicate button right here and we will duplicate that nine times to equal 10 Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. just double checking. And it doesn't matter how they are laid out on here because it will lay out perfectly on the next screen. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to say, make it. We have our joy already selected. We are going to say, without a mat actually, we're gonna do multiple ways because we are going to use, I think I have some small pieces for the white, so we'll put those on a mat and then, um, the paper actually, do I need to put that on a mat? Actually, everything is going to go on a mat because this actually requires the light grip mat. So good to know. Okay, so the paper requires a mat. It is not matless. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to just see if I can find a really skinny little piece to put on my mat for this one. So I'll make these really skinny up here. And then for this, we have them all laid out just like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place this on a long mat. And I'm going to make these pieces, um, I'm going to arrange them differently on the mat just so I can place all of my paper at one time on the mat and get them cutting at once. So let me rearrange this real quick. Okay, so like selecting shift on my keyboard just allows them to be turned around in little incremental pieces. So I'm going to turn them this way because it'll just be easier for me to visually get everything on the mat like this. So I'm going to just get them all turned around. Again, you can do this as any way you want. And if you were only using one sheet of paper to do this, then you could just have it cut any way you want. But since I'm actually going to be using five different patterns, I want to put, put them all on the mat at the same time because it's gonna just save so much time than actually reloading my machine a million different times, okay. Okay, so this is how I'm going to place them on. It's just going to be easier for me to line them up this way. Double checking, I have 10, and I do. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Now the first material that I'm going to be using is the Smart Material Permanent. So that's going to be the selection I'll do for the white. So I will just say Smart Vinyl Permanent. And then when I come to do this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and say Browse All Materials, and I can go down to Paper and I will select deluxe paper adhesive backed when I come back in after the vinyl has been cut. All right, let's get going. Okay, so I'm just gonna place this little piece right here. This is going to be just our little vinyl pieces for the little decorative finishes, and I will go ahead and let that load, auto load into the machine real quick, and it's going to cut that for me. Now, I wanna show you on the back of this adhesive patterned paper, it does say that it requires the Cricut Joy Light Grip Mat. So I'm glad I looked at that because I was actually honestly thinking that it could be matteless, but I guess it can't. So good to know. I was actually going to probably mess that up if I didn't look at that. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and click go. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this up. It's brand new. I'm excited to see all these patterns. And what we can do is get all of the little pieces cut with our paper trimmer and ready to feed on the mat. So... Look at these colors. Look at this one. That is pretty. Ooh, I love that. So there are three patterns, and then this is more of like a marbly textured, a uh, visual texture of, um, oh, that's pretty, of just color. I think my little vinyl decals will go on the solids because they'll really pop. So those are really cool. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get those cut. So what I'm gonna do is grab my little trimmer here. 
Okay, so you know what I have to do is I have to rerun this because you know what I did? I accidentally had the wrong mat selected, so it was trying to cut through all of the little pattern um, papers on this mat instead of the, the vinyl mat. So if I had a penny for every time I've done that, let me know in the comment section if you've ever done that, if you accidentally cut the wrong mat out um, first. I do that quite often. So Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them in two inch strips, two by three inch strips, and you'll see why in just a second. And maybe I should have another little sip of coffee, although now my coffee is cold, so I don't know if that's going to give me any anything good. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut these in two inch by three inch pieces. So I'm going to grab one of each. So we'll do two inches. Actually, we could just save some time and just do two inches and not worry about the three inches. So I'm going to place this one right here. And so what it will do is it will cut the first one and the second one, and that will be one. So it makes it really easy. So I'll just grab another pattern really quick. So the next one will be this. And we'll cut a two inch strip. And we'll place it right on the next one. Okay, so I'm just going to place my other little pieces right on here and we'll get it ready to go. So this is the easiest way for me to do it instead of having to reload each material. Because um, then you'd have to reload five different times if you were doing the project just like this. So you can do it however you'd like, but I just like to cut my material down and send it all through at the same time and just make sure it's staggered on the mat as it needs to be. Okay, so it's all where it needs to go and it matches what's on my screen on the mat preview. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to go ahead and select that paper. So it is again called the Deluxe Paper Adhesive Back Setting and we'll go ahead and auto feed the joy. Okay, so while that's cutting, what I'm going to do is it's real it's white on white for this because the joy cutting mat is white so you're not going to see too much but what I'm doing while that cuts out is I'm just weeding that little vinyl that little I love you and the little hearts and it weeds so easily and perfectly okay just like this and a couple little middles of my letters Okay, so that's already all done. That was so easy, so fast. Five materials all at one time, which I love. I love saving some time when I'm crafting because I don't get a lot of time to craft. So it's nice to do things a little bit quicker. Okay, so now we're all set. We can just shut our little joy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my mat over and just peel these little pieces off. And we can get started on putting them on the little clips. So let me know what you guys are going to do this with if you decide to do this craft. Um, again, you can place a little magnet on the back and then make this a little fridge magnet, which those are so nice to have, especially when you have um, little pictures that you want to display on your fridge or little notes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the first one and I'm just going to bend this back and peel this up like I would a sticker and it's pretty thick. It's got a nice card stock feel to it. You still want to be really careful. So that you don't um, rip it and I size these down just a little bit so let's see actually that's actually a pretty perfect fit it looks really good Oops. maybe this way for me that might be better okay there we go I'm just gonna line that up and lay it right down I sized it down a little bit on the length side so you can size them however you want, but how cute are those? Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These would be really good stocking stuffers. Now, on the back, there is a little um, indent where that little clip comes in, so you can either cut two pieces, or I'm honestly just doing one piece over the top because it's just going to look just fine. It's not going to bother me. Um, but know that you have the option if you wanted to do that differently, you could do that differently and just do two little pieces. But I'm just going to lay that right on the top. And easy peasy, one is already done. How sweet are those? So decorative. How cute are those going to look on a little bag of chocolate chips? I mean, honestly now. Okay, so now we'll just move on to our next one. We'll do a little pink one. Now I think the little um, 
pink ones or the solid color paper is where I'm going to do the little designs. I think that will be really, really cute. So I'm going to put one on the front like that. I might need to size it up just a little bit. It's just a hair off on the top, but that's okay. This can be just a little experiment. Okay. And quite honestly, I will still use them. They're so perfect to me. Okay, so now with the hearts, I kind of feel, well, I did actually attach those together so they'd be placed, but that's okay. With, I feel that you could just, with the hearts, peel them off like a sticker and place those on and not worry about the transfer tape. With the letters, you're definitely going to want a little transfer tape um, help, but the little other ones are just fine. I guess I attached these in Design Space thinking I'd lay these down together, but so that step was not quite necessary, but put these little hearts right there. How cute is that? And it just adds a little fun little touch there. Okay, so we have two and let's do this little pattern. I think that is so cute. This one might be my, nope, I think this is my favorite. It's really neat. It's got some florals in it. They all actually coordinate so pretty together. I love how they look. Okay. One side and you can just rub it down. Again, it's adhesive back so it just sticks right on there. Super, super sweet. These would make really cute gifts as well. Really fast too. You could make, you know, a dozen of these in no time at all. Really. Especially once you have your little template and design space out. If you want to make this little template, so, so easy. Okay, so there's the next one. Very fun. Okay, so we'll do this one and then we'll finish with the purple so that we can put that little I love you on there. That'll be really, really darling. Okay, there's the next one, and then our final is the purple. So let me know, I'm really curious, just because now I'm kind of obsessed with this material and all the things you can do with it. Um, what have you guys done with this? I have another tutorial coming up with another idea that would be really good for this type of material, but if you guys have done anything, let me know, because I'm really inspired by what you could do with this stuff so I'm always excited to hear what everyone else is crafting even if you're not using this let me know what you're crafting because I always love hearing what everybody's doing at their own craft table okay so now what I did was I grabbed a little piece of masking transfer tape and I'm not sure how well this is going to work on this because sometimes the joy material is a little bit harder to come up if you don't have the joy transfer tape in my opinion I'm not sure if you guys feel that way too but it kind of requires a little bit of a stronger grip or at least that joy transfer tape but I don't want to do something too strong in grip because I don't want it to rip my paper and I know that the base that I'm putting on it on is rather delicate so I'm going to try to use something light grip and honestly it's probably going to be something that just requires a little bit of patience with pulling up and that's just fine. Okay so I'm just going to use my weeding tool and I'm just going to help those little pieces come off of the um, carrier sheet and be placed onto the masking transfer tape. Okay, so I have it all ready to go, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim down. It really wasn't that hard. It just use your weeding tool just to help nudge it along, so it wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, but again, it's really important that that transfer tape isn't going to harm the paper, because I just think that sometimes stronger transfer tape can be a little bit too aggressive for it. So I'm just going to trim that down so I can size it, and we'll place it on. Okay, so I'm just going to place this right on the side here getting it as centered as I can. Okay, and then I'll just kind of rub that down with my finger. That's probably really all you need. You can probably do a little scrape if you like to, but essentially this is just a sticker at this point. And I'm just going to take a little piece and very gently peel away. And there we go. Oh, that's really sweet. I love that. And that font is so fun. You guys always need to remember the Don Juan font. <laughs> it's always a funny little, little name for it, but it's really cute. I love how these turned out. What do you guys think? 
Do you think this is fun? I think these are really cute. I think they would make a really nice gift, especially for, you know, if you just have a nice little friend you want to give it to. Stocking stuffers, again, I feel like I'm always looking for really small things to put in stockings. So um, that would be a really fun idea. But I think these turned out really, really sweet. So let me know in the comment section if you've worked with this um, paper, adhesive back paper before and what you've done with it and let me know what you guys think of this craft. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and also please leave me a comment. Let me know what you're crafting if you've used this before and if you're new here I'd love for you to subscribe and see what's coming to the channel next. All right everyone have a wonderful day.